ladies and gentlemen i have great pleasure in extending to you all a warm welcome to this 10th annual general meeting of your company the director's report and audited balance sheet and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st december 1994 have been with you for quite some time and with your permission i take them as read pen the year 1974 witnessed an unprecedented inflationary trend causing severe damage to the economy of our country during the first half of the year the highest increase in prices since independence was noticed and in july 1974 the government in order to combat the inflation and price rise came out with a package scheme consisting of a set of ordinances regarding curbs on dividends and restrictions on additional earnings and dirs allowances etc and steps to check smuggling under misha besides the credit squeeze pair why some of these measures have had the initial effect of checking the price rise giving encouraging hopes some others we can the investment in capital markets with the result that our industrial growth which is almost stagnant for the last two years did not any feel it bad in order to overcome the adverse impact of the existing economic situation urgent steps on the part of the government are inevitable the master solution to the twin problem of inflation and financial stringency can only be the increased productivity recently we find some welcome changes in the government's thinking and approach to the industrial policy with the realization that increased production will only bring real increase in national wealth the government has taken steps towards removal of controls on some major industries of consumption like shop and banaspati it is sincerely hoped that the government will take further immediate drastic steps to remove all sorts of restrictions and limitations which mar the industrial production and growth and afford incentives to industries for maximum capacity utilization and expansion stop pen do the government officials have often been denying that the economy is undergoing recession the honorable finance minister has taken into consideration the continued recession prevailing in advanced countries made an admission that a special watch on the export performance of the country is essential this year in this context it has to be realized that a similar trend as in the advanced countries would have an adverse impact and worst fate for the economy of developing countries particularly like ours especially when we are passing through a period of stress and strain following recession in the world market the man made fiber industry is experiencing the worst crisis for the last 9 months due to acute shortage of raw materials this proves that the total home demand for the rayon industry is not more than what is currently produced and it was the large volume of exports of fabrics which were responsible in keeping the 
price above the cost of production, the contribution of the man-made fiber industry in attaining an impressive growth of exports to as high as rupees 31 crores last year. Stop there. Now I will dictate this same passage 120 speed per minute. Let's start. Ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in extending to you all a warm welcome to this 10th annual general meeting of your company. The director's report and audited balance sheet and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st December 1994 have been with you for quite some time. And with your permission, I take them as read. The year 1974 witnessed an unprecedented inflationary trend causing severe damage of the economy of our country during the first half of the year. The highest increase in prices since independence was noticed and in July 1974, the government in order to combat the inflation and price rise came out with a package scheme consisting of a set of ordinances regarding cards on dividends and restrictions on additional earnings and DRS allowances, etc., and steps to check smuggling under MISHA, besides the credit squeeze stock parity. While some of these measures have had the initial effect of checking the price rise, giving encouraging hopes some Others weakened the investment in capital markets with the result that our industrial growth, which is almost stagnant for the last two years, did not any fail it. Bad. In order to overcome the adverse impact of the existing economic situation, urgent steps on the part of the government are inevitable. The master solution to the twin problem of inflation and financial stringency can only be the increased productivity. Recently, we find some welcome changes in the government's thinking and approach to the industrial policy with the realization that in increased production will only bring real increase in national wealth. The government has taken steps towards removal of controls on some major industries of consumption like shop and Vanaspati. It is in sincerely hoped that the government will take further immediate drastic steps to remove all sorts of restrictions and limitations which mark the industrial production and growth and afford incentives to industries for maximum capacity utilization and expansion plan. Though the government officials have often been denying that the economy is undergoing decision, the Honorable Finance Minister has taken into consideration the continued recession prevailing in advanced countries made an admission that its special watch on the export performance of the country is essential. This year, in this context, it has to be realized that a similar trend as in the advanced countries would have an adverse impact and forced to pay to for the economy of developing countries, particularly like ours, especially when we are passing through a period of stress and strain following recession in the world market. The man-made fiber industry is experiencing the worst crisis for the last nine months due to acute shortage of raw materials. This proves that the total home demand for the rayon industry is not more than what is currently produced and it was the large volume of exports of fabrics which were responsible in keeping the price above the cost of production. The contribution of the man-made fiber industry in attaining an impressive growth of exports too as high as rupees 31 crores last year struck. Now 160 words per minute. Let's start. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in extending to you all warm welcome to this 10th annual general meeting of your company, the Director's Report and Audited Balance Sheet and Profit and Loss Account for the year ended 31st December 1994. I have been with you for quite some time. And with your permission, I take them as they The year 1974 witnessed an unprecedented inflationary trend causing severe damage to the economy of our country during the first half of the year. The highest increase in prices since the independence was noticed. And in July 1974, the government, in order to combat the inflation and price rise, came out with a package scheme consisting of a set of ordinances regarding cuts on dividends and restrictions and additional earnings and the analysis, etc., and steps to check smuggling under MISA besides the credit squeeze ban. While some of these measures have had the initial effect of checking the price rise, giving encouraging hopes, some others weaken the investment in capital markets with a result that our industrial growth which is almost stagnant for the last two last two years did not any Philippe. In order to overcome the adverse impact of the existing economic situation, urgent steps on the part of the government are inevitable. The master solution to the twin problem of inflation and financial stringency can only be the increase to productivity. Recently, we find some welcome changes in the government's thinking and approach to the industrial policy with the realization that increased production will only bring real, real increase in national wealth, the government has taken steps towards the removal of controls on some major industries of consumption, like shop and vanaspati. It is sincerely hoped that the government will take further immediate drastic steps to remove all sorts of restrictions and limitations which mark the industrial production and growth and afford incentives to industries for maximum capacity utilization and expansion plan. Though the government officials have often been denying that the economy is undergoing recession. The Honorable Finance Minister has taken into consideration the continued recession prevailing in advanced countries made an admission that a special watch on the export performance of the country is essential this year. In this context, it has to be realized that a similar trend as in the advanced countries would have an adverse impact and worst fate for the economy of developing countries, particularly like ours, especially when we are passing through a period of stress and strain. Following recession in the world market, the man-made fiber industry is experiencing the worst crisis for the last nine months due to acute shortage of raw materials. This proves that the total home demand for the rayon industry is not more than what is currently produced and it was the large volume of exports of fabrics which were responsible in keeping the price above the cost of production the contribution of the man-made fiber industry in attaining an impressive growth of exports to as high as rupees 31 crores last year. Stop, Tara. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.